Okay. Here's my painting of the day. I've already got it outlined. I kind of taped it down a little bit, but anyway. Okay. Now, whenever um, I'm painting one this small, I always start with the flesh color. This is acrylic. I'm, I'm using Daler Rowney Simply Acrylic paint. This that I'm using now is Portrait Pink. And I'm going to use a little bit of white. Hey, I'm using a new paint tray. Woohoo! <laughs> now, I got a little bit of the white and go down the center. Oh, that's also mixed with portrait, that portrait paint too, y'all. I'm going to try to keep this paint tray a little bit cleaner so I can use it longer. If I would just put one color in the tray, it would last longer. I start mixing them. Okay, now I'm just laying down the base layer. That's... I do it the same way every time. This is just solid portrait pink. A little bit of white this time, mixed in with it. For the center. And I've said a lot, layers and layers and layers. This is solid portrait pink. Taylor Rowney Simply Acrylics. A little bit of white. brush. I am going to use light blue Daily Rowney for our headband and I shouldn't have put that much paint out. This is just the base coat. I'm also right now using a number four flat, flat brush. I've only got two or three brushes that I use all the time. I use them for everything. I don't care how big or how little the painting is. Okay, I'm going to get just a pinch of white. Kind of in the middle here. This is just a base coat. You know all the good stuff comes when I cut the camera off. 
but I don't want to bore you to death for two and a half hours of watching me paint a paint the size of a baseball card. <laughs> I hear my birds hollering. Y'all probably can't hear them, but I'm gonna have to. Sounds like I need to go feed them. Sometimes they'll holler at me <laughs> when the feeders are empty. Now I just took a little bit of white and made that blue lighter, and that's what color her eyes are gonna be. Just a lighter shade of that light blue. Um, and I know that Cheshire cat. This is Allison, the Cheshire cat, and he's photobombing her selfie. But I know the Cheshire cat and most paintings look evil. Um, I really didn't want mine to look evil. Um, I did give him some pretty sharp teeth but I try to, uh, I don't like to paint evil looking stuff not saying that I don't enjoy you know other type of art where they make the Cheshire cat look mean that's 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 fine I like a lot of that art too it's just not my style <laughs> I try to keep my stuff lighthearted and whimsical because that's my personality. I try to take something bad and turn it into something good. Okay. Now, I am going to use a base coat. Of yellow ochre. That's in a small tube. And that was my chair made that noise, by the way. But what I'm going to do, um, I'm getting the yellow ochre and I'm putting it up on top of my tray. Let me show you what I do here so I can try to keep my tray clean. I got some yellow ochre and I've got my white over here and I dip in it like this and I put it up here on the side. a little bit of flesh colored in there too. That tones it down a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. Now, I might have should have painted her hair before I painted that band. Like I said, this is just a base coat. I am painting over my lines because it, I've just decided I go back over them anyway. So there's no point in trying to dodge them. And sorry if I get quiet, I just get wound up in the painting process and forget I'm filming. But that's okay. 
some days I have a lot to say and then some days I don't really. I'm kind of quiet. I really like painting these little paintings like this. And my fans, who have been my fans for years, who like my original art cards, I've not actually painted this many in a long time. You know, sometimes life gets busy and I'm going to start taking time to try to do something I enjoy every day. Everybody should try to find time to do that. Even if you have to schedule a little, you a little time to do something, one of your hobbies or something, you should do it. Life is short. Again, this is just a base coat. I bet you wished I'd say something interesting. <laughs> okay. Now, while I've got a touch of that left, had to get a smaller brush for this little tendril. I've just got straight yellow ochre blending in a little bit. Got that too dark right there. I've had on my mind for the since I've been painting these little paintings for the last couple of days. Um, you know, there's so many things that I want to do. I've got a whole, well, not necessarily a book, but I bet I have got at least 10 pages of notebook paper of ideas on things that I want to paint. This is just yellow ochre, straight yellow ochre. Um, but I've got so many ideas of what I want to do and I so um, I feel a huge painting coming on. <laughs> I like to paint on big pieces. I'm talking like 16 by 20 or 18 by 24 and have a whole bunch of stuff in it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had to yawn. Um, that I like to have a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, I love doing stuff like that. But, um, 
at this is magenta. But I have already started, you know, I, I started homeschooling my kids. And right now, this summer has flown by. That's how come you better take a little bit of time each day to do something you enjoy doing. I'm also going to use this purple color, even though it's... No, that's not what color I want to use. I want to use this violet for the cat. Um, because time is going by so fast. I thought, oh, I'm going to have a real nice long summer break. The kids are going to have a nice long summer break. And it is absolutely going by so fast. It's going by faster than I want it to. I've already started making lesson plans and stuff like that for my kids. So whenever our, our a schooling starts back, I will be ahead of the game. So maybe I will be able to paint some because last school year, this past school year, I started homeschooling them six months ago. And like I said, we're on summer break right now. And I'm going to paint and talk. Um, I'm going to do her lips, the magenta color. And I'm going to start painting. Um, I'm going to mix some white in with the violet. The cat's going to be... Well, I don't know. I say he's going to be light purple. I might change my mind. I might make him light pink and put dark pink stripes. Um, but um, I started homeschooling like six months ago. And it's like, that was kind of challenging. Especially with me trying to teach college classes too. Um... but I'm already making their lesson plans and stuff. I think I'm going to make him pink with purple. <laughs> um, I'm going ahead and like making lesson plans. Now nah, I'll do purple with pink. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like make less, their lesson plans and already have their stuff ready to do so when their school starts back um, they will already know what we're supposed to be doing because I also have to teach college classes in the fall. No art classes. I teach an art class, some art classes. But it's not caught on all the way yet. Maybe it will. Um, but yeah, that's how come I said you need to find something. You need to do something of your little hobbies and stuff every day. Because I... I Right now, I don't have near the stuff accomplished that I wanted to do during summer break. And here it is, almost half over. Like I said, I've got that violet. And I lightened it down with white, it, pretty light. Okay. If I bored you to death today, I'm sorry, I'm kinda off balance today a little bit. I'm like that sometimes. Okay. I am going, I can tell that it's going to take me a while to paint this because I'm kind of in slow mode. 
but I do hope you enjoyed what little time I've been talking and if not I apologize I'm not like this all the time a lot of times I'm real upbeat and have more to say I'm just having an off day okay I'm gonna finish putting the base layer in and then I will um, I will show you the finished product and of course it'll be I auctioned my little paintings off on eBay as much as I can um, thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would really like for you to even though you may not want to if this is just the first video of mine you've ever watched <laughs> I'm sorry I'm humdrum today but anyway um, I'll be back with another painting challenge and maybe I'll be in a not a humdrum mood okay thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next video.